Hi guys, today I want to show you what's in my bag. I mean, there are so many ways how you can create your own bag, your, your clubs, what, you, what kind of clubs you're playing. Today, I just want to show you in general what I carry as a former tour player, I still carry in my bag. I just want to start with the ball. I still play the Titleist Pro V1 X. Why do I play the X? Just because I really enjoy seeing the ball flying a little bit higher. The trajectory of the X is a tiny bit higher than with the normal Pro V1. So um, for me, you know, I grew up with, with Titleist and I still play them and I really enjoy playing this ball. And as you can see, I always draw a line on my ball because I really, really enjoy having this line for lining up the ball for putting. So that's the ball. Go over to the gloves. As you can see, I have a few gloves. I always carry about two to five gloves in my bag, just, you know, because if it's raining, but of course, I don't want to play that often in rain anymore. But, you know, just in case, also when it's super hot, it's nice to have a dry glove. Um, I still use the player's glove because it's super, super thin. I know it's a little bit more pricey, but you know, it's really worth it. The thinner the glove is for me, the more feeling I have, the more uh, connection I have to my grip. And I want to have sitting it really, really tight on my hand. As you can see, it's like a second skin. And I, I just really enjoy that feeling. And this is also how I grew up, how I played on tour. And so I'm never going to change that again. So that was the ball and the glove. So let's just hop over to, to the clubs. Before I actually go to the clubs, I always carry two lining up sticks with me just because when I practice and I still enjoy practicing. So I really want to practice to line up properly, not to get any wrong swing faults in my move because of the, of the wrong lining up, right? So this is what always belongs in my bag. So let's start with my with my love wedge. As you can see, it's kind of old. It's over 20 years old. Sometimes I just regroove them. So I just let the grooves get a little bit sharper again because at some point, of course, they're getting like really flat and uh, there's not much spin on the ball anymore. But um, also you can see I have a lead tape on, he on here just because I enjoy having a little bit heavier club head feeling in my hands and it's a 60 degree you know going to all my wedges i mean i have the helix wedges i have 55 50 and then my pitching wedge comes up with 45 degrees so i have a five degree gap within all the clubs and you have to be careful because when i started playing golf um, the pitching wedge used to have like around 48 degrees and then you had the normal steps of four degrees so 48 52 56 60. but nowadays the companies or all the clubs are um, having a stronger uh, loft so that means some of the pitching wedges actually just carry 40 three degrees and then if you really want to have those little gaps going towards a lob wedge you have to think about the option carrying five wedges in your bag right like 43 50, uh, 48 52 so it's an extra wedge so you have to consider that um, of course <laughs> The companies, it has a, they have a little trick because, you know, the, the lower loft you have, the, the longer you hit the ball. And of course, everybody thinks, you know, the technique is working well, you're getting stronger. But also the equipment is, uh, it's not cheating, but, you know, it's helping you meanwhile a little bit more. So those are my wedges. Just going to put them back in the bag. So I carry still four wedges. Then I have nine eight, seven, six. So my six iron is my longest iron and it's been like that for a very, very long time. I'm pretty short. I'm one meter 64 short actually. And um, although I have a lot of power, um, I was always struggling with the angle of attack with my longer irons. And a longer iron for me already starts with a five iron. It's certainly a different story to tall people because they have a different angle of attack. But I can watch a lot of women carrying a five iron, but they are pretty much just having it in the bag and never use it maybe off the tee, but they're really struggling of using longer irons. So 
when the hybrid started to come out, I, I swapped right away. So my five iron is actually my five rescue and um, my five hybrid. And I have the, the TaylorMade, TaylorMade um, Stealth um, hybrids. I have a five, I have a four and I have a three. And this is kind of unusual because I can watch many people carrying five and four meanwhile, but then they're hopping over to, uh, to the woods already. My game and my swing fits better to the hybrids where you have to have, um, you know, where you have to have a little bit of a steeper angle of attack and I, I want to curve the ball a little bit more and I can manage that better. But that's my theory for me, for my swing with the hybrids. So just to give you a distance feeling, my three rescue, I hit about off the tee close to 200 meters and off uh, the surface like 185, 190. So um, this is plenty for me, you know, I'm not searching for my five rescue, my, my five wood. I used to carry a five wood for a long time, but um, very often it was too much when it was traveling too high for my eye. So I swapped over that I just did about a year ago to my three rescue and um, that works actually perfect for me. I can hit it off the tee. I have a very good distance and I also can hit it off the surface, which is um, key on long par fours or on par fives as a, a transport or whatever. So here I actually have two, three uh, woods um, that I actually decide what kind of course I play. Um, I have the Stealth, the normal, the original one, and then I have the Stealth 2. This has 15 degrees and this has 16 degrees. When do I use which one? Um, the 15 degrees I use a lot when I have a lot of holes where I need to have my three wood off the tee, which I hit about 210 meters with a little bit of a roll. And um, but if the wind is helping, I can hit that quite long. It has a really sharp loft, uh, a high face. It's working really well off the tee, but for me, it's not working so super easy off the surface. So if I have a course where I have long par fives, I have a lot of long shot shots in the green, or maybe even par fives where I can reach it in two, but for that, I need my three wood. So then I choose that club, which has one degree more. It has a, a smaller face and it's much easier to hit it up in the air off the surface. So this is really depending on the course I'm playing. And then we go to my favorite weapon. Maybe you figured that out on my videos that I really, really love my driver. Um, it's a PXG driver, which, uh, you, know, you know, the USP of the PXG drivers is normally to have really little spin, low spin. So it doesn't travel super high. It, it goes out like a little bullet. And, um, but of course, uh, one thing is of course the head, but the music is played with the shaft and I use the uh, Fubuki shaft, which is awesome. I really like it. it. It feels really light and a little bit wobbly, but once you hit the, the ball, it completely changes that feeling. So I've had that club for three years now. I have um, a nine degree loft. I used to play it with eight, but now I went back to nine because I still see uh, the ball flying a little bit higher. I really like seeing the ball flying up in the air. So yeah, and then I'm just walking over to my putters. And then you can also see I have two different putters. If you watched my video, I also explained you the different types of putter, but as you can tell, I'm a fan of the mallet form. So I really have a, yeah, I mostly have bigger heads on my putter. One is a little toe down putter and one is a face balance putter. And the face balance putter is much heavier. So if I play on super slow greens, I prefer the heavier putter. And um, well, it's, it's, it's a, daily thing what I enjoy more of, of the of the motion sometimes I have days I just really choose the face balance sometimes I have days where I enjoy the opening and closing part of the putter stroke again so that's um that's a mood thing you know but you know I'm a girl the mood is always decisive so yeah this is pretty much it yeah, maybe for you, important also about the weight. You know, if you're struggling with your putting, maybe think about um, trying out different weights of putting. 
of the putters and um, maybe that makes a big change for you already. Yeah, there's not much more to say. Probably for you new is that um, I don't carry a five wood with me or even a seven wood. And maybe you have the question who's, um, yeah, who's uh, actually supposed to play more woods. I think if you have a, a little flatter swing, a little bit more around you, a, a draw swing, and also women who don't have the, um, the swing speed, there, I would always say the, the woods are the better options, but you have to try it out. I have students, they just look at a hybrid and they can't hit it. Um, and of course, if you don't have a sympathy to your club, it won't work in the first place at all, right? So um, it's also how you look at the club, how you like it, and you have to fall in love with your clubs. Otherwise, the ball won't go there where you want it to go. All right, so this is it. Um, I hope I could show you a little bit out of my bag and um, give you some options to think about of your own clubs. If you have any questions, um, just let me know. Just put a comment below this video. If you like it, put a thumbs up, subscribe this channel. And if you want to know more about me, just follow me on Instagram and I hope to see you soon. And now, of course, have fun practicing. <laughs>